Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here going to be jumping in the number two there and taking down a new stack of cars. So we did turn around and a uh, few expansions, well not expansions, but new stacks, cars, whatever you want to call it, rolling stock that we've turned around and picked up. We did pick up the tier three cars there and then we have some box cars to try to start getting the um, farm chain going at the same time that we're doing some of this other stuff that way when we push out the extension out to the coal mine we can do the uh some of the meat stuff there too is kind of the idea so you know picked up the next group of cars which we have to get these out of here it also brings us to a point where you know it's presenting the problem of we're starting to run out of um you know track and holding so we got to get the uh get these cars out of the way so we can actually turn around and come in here and build off a yard and some holding so we're gonna get that stuff going all right don't need to crack into anything at 100 miles an hour this one where the auto couplers obviously yeah great add to the game there we go at least for those who like it But, again, that's one we have an option, so there you go. You know, they hit that one on the head. We have an option to turn that on and off for people who like it, people who don't like it. It goes both ways, though, with that one, so that's cool. Some people like the old Lincoln pin. Still, once you started using the auto couplers, I have to say I really like it a lot. Makes grabbing uh, stacks of cars up and stuff much, much easier. All right, so we'll roll this out. Make sure that we're good track-wise. Not gonna run over into the farm stuff. Putting a little bit of this and that. Did turn around and put in a, uh, a uh, sand house. Sand facility is the buttons. Yeah, got in the old, um, Got in the sand house there, put that over in the little valley just before you kind of go up or down on the steep grades there, kind of as a last resort if you're out, you know, there you go. I don't, I don't really use sand egg of a lot or anything or ever, to be quite honest, so it's really just more of a, it's there for looks, but you know. Kind of makes sense to be where you're going to use it on the mountains last resort we'll obviously put some there in the um, in the yard too we'll put all the facilities and try to there you go with that it out pretty soon too always a lot of loads to run especially early in the game but that's where the fun part is if you ask me so you know you have plenty to do and always looking to expand this layout kind of right now is a little different for me usually I'm all worried about buying new locos for every new stack of cars so this just buying cars is kind of kind of refreshing actually I'm not worried about buying a new local all the time. I don't feel like I have to run anywhere near as many loads. You just gotta have more fun doing it. Slow it down a little bit, which is kind of nice. Pine Valley with that nice classic feel, though, you know? Make sure we're good charging up the hill. Just gonna leave the reversal right there actually and see see if it even takes any more than that to pull it up or how many more cars this six cars so you know obviously if we doubled it we'd probably be filling filling things so if it pulls it up this easy 
with these, then, you know, we're obviously going to be getting to double it. You know, it seems like the, the uh, Cook Mogul is really plenty of locomotive, at least so far for everything we've needed. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, definitely, it just chews that up like absolutely nothing. There we go. Wow. Huh, go figure. Oh, there we go. We already got a load of logs all set. Well, that's cool. You just actually got to hook up to those and drop them. Or if I can pull cordwood and logs out here at the same time, probably. Just leave them at the mill. I guess it doesn't really matter. I gotta come up here and turn around and bring the cordwood cars back up here anyway. So bring the cordwood cars back up here and then might as well drop the logs because they'll all fit. So two for one. And then turn around and have the uh, have the seed pallets there in the box cars to go out to the farm too. So just right there, you know, already three trains to run and you know. I always lots to run. It's good stuff. Enough. We'll just let it do its thing. Try to just stay on top of it, I guess. Know a lot of people buzzing about, you know, the council release and performance of the game for council release. I know the team has said, you know, the performance is a lot of the big, up, uh, you know, big focus from here to release. So, you know, I'm still saying we'll just see how everything goes. Performance wise for the most part tend to run obviously I tend to run okay. Multiplayer, you know, is always hit or miss, depends on how things go there. <laughs> I'll say that's being nice. Sometimes it's a challenge, but that's not, you know, always necessarily the game either, so there you go. That gets to be a tricky one to chase, I would think. We've gotten a lot of improvements along the way, so, you know. Wait a minute. What do we got going on here? How did we end up with seven cars? Oh, we did end up with seven cars. Oh, whatever. I suppose we could add another one. We'd have eight. Do we have enough money even? Ugh! Put us below a thousand. That or we just take the one off of the back of here for now and turn around and put that for the farm stuff anyway. We need a straw wagon for sure. So at least one, of course, more than one. So I don't know. I guess we'll just see. I'd probably rather really keep the whole stack together. If we got it, we'll run it. I'm not going to buy it and try not to go below, really go below a thousand in case we decide we want to do other things. I don't want to totally be broke right this second either. So, is what it is. We'll run what we brung. Alright, that should be good. So, one thing we're seeing here with the cordwood side is that a few of these are just going to have to go. And that's just for loading sake, plain and simple. What it is, what it is. Would have been nice to keep them there, but they're in the way. And having obstructions when you're loading is just, forget that. It's too annoying. Oh, I don't want to do this one. Yeah, I don't really just want to do this one. Well, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> ah! Try to keep the original plan. I was going to turn around and just buy 10 of them. And then I'm like, I just didn't want to invest that much money, honestly, in cordwood cars right this minute. So then I bought two box cars instead. And then figured out the burn rate on the money went pretty quick because the box cars 
are not exactly the cheapest thing. I think they're like nine fifty if I'm you know if I'm on top of my numbers there. I think it's like nine fifty, so almost basically a thousand dollars a car there. Which you know, early on in the game this is still kind of early game that yeah I mean there are only two or three cars at this point so yeah definitely still considered early game but whatever we'll take the seven we got these cars are huge wasn't for the size of these cars I'd probably try to run it with Betsy but the mogul's doing its thing and looking good with it it fits with it size wise oh now we get the pop up I'm sitting here waiting to check to make sure we get it full but we get the pop-up, so no worries there. Again, one I wasn't really all that, like, enthused to have, but does actually, you know, pay off having. So, some of the updates, some of the upgrades always come that way. There we go. Bam. Full. gonna need a lot of pull here. We'll just keep that going so it's popping. Letting off just a little bit of steam every now and then. There we go. Yeah, that works. Probably don't need to go any faster here. Do have to say the button's getting added to the keyboard. Also, another nice addition. Hopefully everything rolls through here decent like. One never knows first run. Cars respond differently to different things sometimes. I'm sure we've all encountered that. Been down a rail a ton of times, they had something different, and all of a sudden it acts different. So, here we go. We'll just kind of take it nice and chill. When we get around the bend here, we will start looking for a switch. Should roll out fine here. I mean, Betsy rocks on here, no problem. Alright, good. We're through there. We will have to flip that switch. Nice thing with this layout, not a lot of extra rail in here, so it's nice and it's really pretty direct, straightforward, pretty easy layout, early layout. Hasn't been added to a lot yet or blown out. Need to come in here and put some landing stuff. Exactly sure what to put in there yet, but. I'm sure somebody will have some ideas. There we go. Good look back at the load. Not a bad looking little wood train, logging train, cordwood train, whatever you want to call it. Nice timber train. All right. Heading up on the bridge. Best to put into that bridge I've ever done, I think. Just lines up right. But then they built the bridge totally separate and then attached rail to it, which, you know, seemed to work. Alright, we probably don't need to be going a million miles an hour here. Here's our new last chance sand house. There we go. Fits in the valley nice. Do have to say it's cool that they added the groundwork addition or at least you uh, option again to add groundwork to those so that's cool in the menu I know some people haven't seen that there is the little drag down there underneath them so there you go nice to have that which all every building facility industry it would be cool if they all had that then for people who don't like you know I know it's always been a thing having the grass come up through the ground if people would like a way to get rid of that that'd be cool if just putting uh, groundwork underneath it would take care of all of that 
or with the option to do that. Look down at the smelter. Always been a good look. Let's check our rail, fuel cool, it's gonna ride down decent. This way, so we're gonna come around that way, or if we do this, we can go in that way, it might make it a little easier. We'll just have to see, I don't know. I don't know which way the preferred way to go is gonna be. Handling it decent was just a nice chill set on the brake, so that's cool. Guess I was probably letting go of the brake at the wrong time there. That was not the time to be upsetting the apple cart. nice and decent nothing too crazy <clears throat> typical mountain train pass run kind of thing there all functioning this is probably a little sharper than I would like it I guess we could come in and alleviate this and make it a little wider obviously in here that definitely could be a little, a little wider. But then again, I guess it's about not really necessarily flying through there either, so. It's always a toss up. Build it for fun, build it for looks, build it for function, build it for speed, build it for challenge. Redundancy, so many options in the way you like to build track. Which I gotta say, for me, I guess at the end of the day is what keeps the game functioning. You always have another option of a different way to build it, you know, or try to build it. Sometimes it might not always pan out either, so. <laughs> Probably all been there, had some idea of doing something and it just didn't work. Alright, I suppose we'll have to go. I don't know how this one's gonna be been discussing this one and I don't know how this is going to be to unload on the roll. This may be, with two people I think that might be a thing, but this one might be a pain to single player and just unload on the roll. We'll have to see because again, this is all the stock links. But if we come in at that speed, we're going to waste. Hey, give me the logo. We're going to waste a lot at that speed. Don't really want to do that. Alright, we'll try from right here. And then go. There we got them all. So it's just going to be a super slow. Going to be a little slow. There we go. A little earlier probably too. Wouldn't hurt. And then we'll probably run out of them as it comes through the turns, but... It's not going to be as bad as having to move every single car or anything. Not that even if you have to unload every single car, that's always a bad thing. Yeah, we got plenty in there. So that's not bad. You can just go straight from that link to that link over there. And it, oh, yeah, actually, we're just from the angle we're looking at. We got plenty of room to unload. The, didn't probably need to slow down quite as much as we did. This one's going to get to be a bit of a challenge because that's probably in a rough spot to actually get it to unload. I don't know. We could go for it. What's the worst that happens? We drop something on the ground. Nope. Up. 
Alright, there we go. So, there we go. A little bit off. Cost us two. In the name of experimentation. It's fine. Problem is getting this one to roll at all now is gonna be a difficult order we're in this set. Alright, we'll drop that one. We definitely are not gonna to try to drop the other one. Although I bet you you could turn around and put I bet you you could put those boards. You could probably put the loading boards there, you know what? And get it to drop on the loading boards and then roll onto the dock and I bet you you could actually save it. Loading boards do actually have like a function, you know, in the game. If you use them right. Like, that is a legit thing. And I would think where these are dropping high enough, if you put some roll uh, loading boards out and off of this thing, you could probably get them to just tip onto the dock. Probably save it. Getting a lot of friction on the rail in the turns here. Ooh, I don't know. That's too early. Should be fine. Maybe if we get it lighter, it'll roll faster. Nope. <laughs> Basically stops rolling as soon as we start unloading. Oh well. And then if we didn't have the oddball car, we'd be done right there. Winter, winter chicken dinner. But new. No. We gotta have that one extra car. That's fine. That's not horrible cordwood, really. I mean, still, if you were coming in here and you were switching, it would definitely take longer to unload all of it. So, no, no. Let's go. Nope. All right, now we wasted a half a car, so everything's even. No. <laughs> Give two back to the beavers. It's fine. All right, so those trees got to go. We just know that we need to come forward a little bit. That should be fine, but then those trees are definitely going to have to go. So let's get rid of that. So it looks that, 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 and that. Then we'll see how that comes out. That should give us a nice clean line of sight. Wow, we still didn't move the train egg of a lot of work, but far enough. That's going to be a winner. We don't have a ton of cold out here anyway, so that's going to start us, obviously, with stuff. Not a lot. Keeping it on medium, so, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> Just to feel it. Normally, by this time, I'd probably crank it down to easy just to turn around and get stuff pushed through. But delivering a few more loads this time. Alright, there we go. Coming around. As soon as we get this. There, we're good to go. Okay, we are switched to come out of here. Chill on that. Still gotta get rid of some more trees in here. Well, we're we'll probably get about halfway to the rails that we need to actually get the uh, get the coal mine started. So we'll need at least one more load of cordwood down there. And of course, you go through enough raw iron trying to get the uh, iron works out there up and running that we need tons more. But <laughs> rails and coal will be our next thing. That way, we can put in an actual coal tower and stuff like that for refilling coal locos if we want to bring that in closer. Stuff like that. Open up the uh, option for running coal locomotives kind of the thing didn't want to turn around and use anything coal this time until we actually had access to coal kind of makes sense probably wouldn't turn around and buy a coal locomotive if you didn't have have some access to coal 
So we're kind of just playing along with it this time. See, this corner got cut out nice for the most part. So you have a decent... Yeah, we just need to expand more tree cutting. More paper products. We're not into the recycle stage yet. So we're still using... <laughs> Lots of trees, Chris doesn't say that. We're about running out of wood, so let's burn some wood. Hey, open my door. Alright, that should do it. Just turned around and top Betsy up with everything. Full water, full wood. So that one's ready to go. Alright, let's shoot chug us out. Nice. Get a good view out in front of the logo. Yeah, I suppose so to switch sides. They had it right. They had to kick it outside. At least the fireman gets a door. I suppose I'm fiddling about. It might not even make. It. It's gonna make it up this. I'm not even worried about the cook mogul. Get real. It'll handle this. He's throwing everything around like nothing. Plus, the curves are all pretty gentle, and the grade is not real steep. Of course, that being said, we're about to run out of juice, but we don't even, we're not even pulling on nothing. More worried about accelerating too fast around the turn and throwing stuff off just from a rocket. More so than the um, power that the mogul has. This thing gets a little tippy sometimes. Alright, I think at this point we are free to hammer down and see what we can get out of the logo. Not that we're going to massively accelerate probably going uphill, but give it a go. Nice thing at like two and a half percent, this actually isn't like a tough pull for things. And that's like at its steepest, so this just makes for an easy pull. You come out of this valley, like I've done it obviously coming out of here where you come out at six percent, that definitely changes the way you uh run this part of the <laughs> run this part. Shorter loads. More runs. Alright, hit the top of the hill. That's something. Oh, we're just gonna hit it at speed. That's cool. Now we can turn around, bite that down, go for some actual speed speed rally. Slamming. That's working out. Like the green. It's cool though, we got some nice color options on that bridge, to be honest. We're at like the top of the day here, so everything, or not really. I guess we're on the light scan to behind us, making everything super bright. Bang them. So where are we, like, in the day? There we go. Hey, it's after three. Why not? Afternoon run down the rails. This is cool because now this stack will be out of the way, so we'll be able to put in some yard and stuff. We really needed some holding after we got those box cars. It was kind of like, oh, we're running out of places, and it's a good thing we have a a stack spot for the. Uh, for these cars, the two or three cars out here at the uh, at the logging camp. The problem is, is then when you want to use them for the farm, you gotta go out and get them. So we're trying to keep more things in the central holding area. So, but currently they're just gonna sit out there while we. Uh, well, that's what we use them for. We might even get the farm a different stack. Just so we can use that stack for a roaming stack and just keep this one for 
cord wood, I guess. Throw a few more on it. The mogul's definitely got it in it. This week, probably just do 12 maybe at a time. Doubling is a lot, though, so we'll see. Obviously, going to add one for sure. Gives us enough money. Now, at least $475 of expendable income. Try not to go below that thousand mark. Rolling stock or locomotives, always, always a choice. Oh no, that's not right. We should have got in the other way because we're just gonna drop this one. Even though we could deliver, we could deliver one more load. That's not the plan right now. I want to have that track clear while this is out here. Or I need that track clear so this has to just sit out here because I want to do some building in there, I think. Is the idea. Alright, there's that. Should have flipped this. Should have been planning ahead. Yeah, never figured that one out. That is closer. <laughs> Don't know about everybody else. You always get stuck messing around with the whistle at some point sooner or later. Just what you do. Even if you're not a big whistle person, you always are ended up messing with the whistle. Sliding on the whistle. Used to old track laid and you used to get really rocky and bendy in old places. You know, this stuff came out pretty smooth, so there's not a lot of worry really with this layout so much. Yeah, because then we can drop these there, take those, drop those, build in that yard, work on the farm stuff. That's kind of the plan. Now, I'd like to expand a few more, just to have more car variation over there than just the boxcar stuff. So. Gotta make a little money. So we get that stuff going. Nice dip in the map there. I do like that being back there. That's just cool. I'm gonna have to do something back down there, in there. A little town down in the, you know, Pine Valley hole in the ground. Not obtrusive, but awfully close. There we go. That worked out. Just about right. Actually, that works out not horribly. We definitely have room to stick one more on there, which we'll have to do, but there we go. I think we got room back there. Yeah, we got room back there. Plenty. We get one more on, and then that'll be done. Then we got the logs. I think time-wise, where are we at? Yeah, that probably about gets us where we want to be at. So I guess we'll turn around and call that one a win for today. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.